Do you have a basket perfect for adding a lining to? If so, grab it because I am going to teach you how to add a fabric scalloped lining to it. If you don't have a basket yet, check your local thrift store and find a fabric that you love. First, trace the bottom of the basket on paper and add a one inch allowance all the way around. Next, measure the height of the basket and add 4 inches. Measure around the widest area of the basket and add 2 inches for your circumference measurement. Cut one long rectangle to these measurements. And cut one extra rectangle to the length of the circumference and three inches tall. For the scallops, I found a round object and traced half of it on paper to create the scalloped pattern. Of course, you can skip this part if you prefer a straight edge. Match the rectangles right sides together, being mindful of the direction of the pattern on the fabric. Align the scallop pattern a half an inch away from the edge of the fabric and trace with a water soluble pin. Stitch along the scalloped line, pivoting sharply at the corners. Once these pieces are sewn together, take zigzag shears or pinking shears as they are called and cut around the edges of the scallops. Cut carefully into the corners without cutting into the stitches. Turn the scallops right side out and take your time pointing the edges and ironing the scallops well to help the shapes become more prominent. Fit it into your basket to see how it is fitting. You want a little excess around the handles, but if it seems like too much now is a good time to trim the fabric. Fold the lining in half and cut it along the halfway mark to create two pieces. Make sure they are aligned right sides facing and halfway down on the side seam, stitch at half an inch seam allowance. Repeat for the opposite side. Now take the scalloped edge and fold it inward to have the wrong sides facing. Insert twill tape or create ties with your fabric to insert here. Sew across the layers of fabric and twill tape at quarter of an inch seam allowance. Turn the scallop right side out and the tape should be secure. Fold any additional raw edges in towards the wrong side of the fabric Stitch along the sides to secure any raw edges.
Now turn the stitch length up on your machine as high as it will go. Create a gather or basting stitch around the bottom edge of the lining. Carefully pull the bobbin threads to gather the fabric and bunch it up slightly to fit in the bottom of the basket lining. Take the circle piece of fabric and pin the lining piece to it. You'll need to adjust the gathers until it fits well in the circle. So at half an inch seam allowance. Insert your lining into the basket and tie the twill tape or fabric ties on the sides. Now you have the perfect Easter basket or basket for any occasion.